Hey cousins, we're going to talk about three ways that the spirit of Python is attacking you. So let's see if that's you. The first way is the enemy tries to bring and slash give you suicidal thoughts. Um, I'm just going to put some prayers on the screen and you might want to just screenshot this video just in case that is you. And these are just some decrees um, over that. And the spirit of Python, it wants to be a generational thing. It wants to be passed down to you. So if your family member may have suffered with mental illness or suicidal thoughts or any of that stuff, it wants to be passed down to you. So that's what we mean by when like us as Christians talk about breaking generational curses. Okay, so two, pythons, as y'all know, their characteristics, they love to squeeze the breath out of their victims. They like to swallow them whole and then squeeze the actual breath out of them. So these are just seven ways that the life and the breath is being squeezed out of you. One is the loss of hunger for God's word. Two is physically being tired at all times. Three is attack of lack. So you've just experienced some, a lot of lack in your life. Four is struggling or non-existent prayer life. Prayer is the key. God, like the word is literally a sword. Literally your weapon. You need to get it in your belly. Now I'm about to preach. Like, what's up? Now I'm about to preach. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Five is super overwhelmed. So like if you've been feeling like just really overwhelmed and you don't know why, it could possibly the spirit, be the spirit of Python trying to oppress you. Six is old habits making their way back. If you've been delivered from something or set free from something or stopped um, an addiction, a habit, a thought, a thing that you used to do and it's trying to come back, it could possibly be the spirit of Python. Um, seven, pulling away from Christian communities. Oh, I don't need to go to church. I know God for myself. I'm going to just read my word and stay home. Yeah, okay. God said that we are stronger together. And fellowship is a command. So come on, what are we talking about? Is my wig lifting? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as mentioned, reading God's word is like inhaling. It's like the breath of God. So God, he blew his Ruach HaKadosh into Adam, right? The breath. And reading his word is literally... So I got this quote from Vlad Savchuk. I got this whole thing from Vlad Savchuk. This is just my study notes. So if you ever want to check him out on YouTube, he's chef's kiss. Breathe in God's word, breathe out prayer. Ooh. I'm going to need y'all to meditate on that for a second. And not like meditate like new age, but like meditate, read the word. Amen. And three, Python lays eggs and incubate them until they hatch. The enemy tries to lay doubt in your mind for the same promise God made. I keep my hands, I'm sorry. But if God gave you a promise, right? And the enemy is trying to give you doubt about that promise being fulfilled. Well, baby, you might be oppressed with the spirit of Python. So go get free in Jesus name. I love y'all. Stay free in Zion. Bye. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, let's chat in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.